It pains me to say this, but Gengar EX is the worst EX in Pokemon Pocket. His ability to shut down support cards is indeed very powerful, but pairing this onto a Pokemon that requires three energy to attack and only hits for 100, despite being an EX, leaves Gengar decks starving for damage output. I've had countless games at this point in which his spooky shot barely fell short of a win. At one point I asked myself, is a legitimate Gengar EX deck even doable as of now? Then I saw the light. Gengar EX sucks, but regular Gengar is a completely different beast. Gengar's bother attack deals 50 damage for one energy and is essentially the same as Gengar EX's ability. Being able to deny your opponent the ability to play their support cards is a very powerful effect, especially towards the latter portion of the match. The key to a good Gengar deck is to combine him with another Pokemon who is able to deal a powerful hit fast. Meet Jinx! Gengar's absolute perfect teammate. With just two energy, Jinx is able to deal between 70 and 90 damage most of the time, depending on her target. The more energy the opponent invests into their Pokemon, the easier it will be for Jinx to revenge kill them. Today's deck matches up extremely well into the current meta. This is because Gengar's 130 HP is super relevant. Since the opponent cannot play Giovanni or Sabrina, Gengar will always survive an Articuno's Icy Wing into a Blizzard, and also an Arcanine's Inferno Onrush. These two Pokemon are everywhere as of now, given the recent meta shift to counter Pikachu. Tauros is there to provide us with a tank that we can lead off with going second that is easier to retreat with than Kangaskhan, because that's what this deck wants to do, pivot. We wanna swap around our Pokemon frequently, tanking hits and finding the right openings to strike. This is one of the best decks I've built to date, and you'd be surprised how efficient it is at beating EX decks despite us running none ourselves. Watch the gameplay, if you don't believe me. What Pokemon should I build the deck around next? You decide. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see what we can do. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, as we post daily Pokemon Pocket videos here, and we bring back the spice. Forget about yesterday's video. Have a soul day, enjoy the games, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But I do, I do agree that Parasect should have some sort of like status effects. That is kind of like what the Pokemon is known for. We have Gengar and Hunter. We're just missing Ghastly. Only a Jinx lead going first, which is not ideal, but the X speed can allow us to pivot. Nani. Oh no, they know. They know the power of Tauros. Uh, how about a Ghastly here? How about no? Oh, Jinx. God dang. Oh, come on. I need Ghastly. I can't. I have Haunter and Gengar. Please let me Ghastly. Just let me Ghastly, bro. Don't red card me. Stacking the energy on Tauros. Oh, this is so depressing. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this Jinx to tank a hit. Cause Tauros going second is pretty decent. Mm-mm. Double Professor's Research, huh? Must be nice, bro. We get hit here with a horn attack, and we're gonna pivot. Okay. Uh, Ghastly, it's about time, bro. It's about damn time. There we go. Uh, do we need the Tauros here? I'm gonna double Ghastly. And then I'm gonna X speed. Retreat with a Jinx, you took a hit, bring in the other one. Fire away. With that 70 power, Psychic. Charmeleon, in the back. Giovanni, Nani. We keep pivoting. We keep pivoting, Hunter. Finish them. We're one Hunter away from setting up double Gengar. 
Keeping this Jinx online is very important to punish the uh, the potential buildup with Moltres. They've already played Double Purpose Research, but no Sabrina can be played after this. Um, they also can Giovanni to two-shot the... Uh, oh, they can still... If I, I, I still need... Okay, so... I need to enable this Jinx so that I can potentially pivot with a Gengar. I have two Giovannis. If I Giovanni now, I deal for 60. And I could top deck another one to play around the potion here. We're gonna bother. We're gonna bother. Prevent them from using supporter cards. They cannot Sabrina us. I use that Giovanni because I could top deck another one. I have two of them. There's a Flareon in the back. Will they pivot? There's the potion. That's what I'm talking about. If I top deck a Giovanni, I can finish this game here. Heart of the cards. Wait, they go for the Inferno Dance again? Heart of the cards! Giovanni. Giovanni to me. Mm. We have to hit this again. Is the way, right? Like, they cannot attack with anything in the back. Though we are super vulnerable to, like, uh... But we're preparing the Tauros in case they just, like, build up an energy or they just don't... They just slash. Uh, no, they're dead. No potion. Jinx! Jinx, a girl! The power! Beautiful. That's, that's the power of Jinx in this build. That's what really... We got that heavy hitter that's fast, and we have the Gengar to disrupt our opponent's plays. Gengar is not a worse Beedrill. Like, his effect is really strong, but you have to pair him with a, with a heavy hitter. So Jinx is the perfect, perfect partner for uh, regular uh, Gengar. And we're going second. We got that Jinx. Not a Pokemon I'm crazy to lead off with, because I could revenge the Articuno, but... You know, you know, you know what we what we're afraid of here. Misty, at least no turn one Misty, but you can you can bet they're gonna draw it now. We got Tauros, and this is likely to be a Ghastly. There we go. Energy on to uh, Jinx. You guys ready? For Misty. It's a Misty action. Misty. 
Don't mind if I do. That Sabrina actually helped us. Just don't, don't misty me now. Don't, uh, okay. And the beautiful thing about Gengar here is that we don't have to worry about a Giovanni finishing us off because of his ability. No more Misty. No more Misty for you. We have the X speed to retreat the Gengar. And uh, we can just pump up the Tauros, really. No, we can just... I mean, okay, so in what case they could red card us and then all of a sudden, like, we cannot... No, we need to enable the Jinx. We need to enable the Jinx and we need to hit them with the bother. Prevent Misty, please. This Gengar will prevent a Misty from being played onto the Articuno in the back. And also prevents Giovanni and Sabrina from being played here. Which just forces them to go for a Blizzard. They go for that, but it's not enough. Gengar with the thickness survives. We go for the research here. Get another Jinx in there. Retreat with the Gengar, right? Send in this Jinx. Build up the other Jinx. Get rid of Zarkuno. Now we have to worry about a, a Misty high rolling like crazy here. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Tails. 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 Yes! That's what you get! That's what you get, boy. That's what you get, boy. Do I need to X speed? I don't think so. Just retreat with you, bring you in. Giovanni? No, we do. We do we do just because um we don't want them to red card us. We need we need this X speed. In case they somehow... We bring in the Gengar. We bring in the Gengar. We prevent supporter cards from being played. Have they played double Professor Research? They have. They cannot Misty, though. Wait, what are you doing? My brother in Christ. What are you doing? You want to bring in the Articuno, don't you? You want to bring in the Articuno... We got that Giovanni. Because that way, I mean, they could get a heads from Misty. <laughs> hey, Starmie, get your ass back over here. Mm. I don't have Tauros. Can I run Mr. Mime or Kanga instead? You, you, honestly, you could try Mr. Mime. You can also just try... Um, you can also try... Uh, King is gone. All right, this is Taro's moment to shine. They're not going to find Starmie. And Taro's will one-shot the star you because they won't retreat with it. Snom. Okay. Okay, a real deck. Uh, my brother in Christ. Well, the last matchup was against Articuno and Starmie X. Okay, let's go for that Pokeball. We got that Articuno in the back. We got Jinx. 
Not finding our ghastly pieces here. We're just gonna keep it simple. Go for that energy onto Taros. And uh, build up for that horn attack. We have the X speed to counter our Sabrina that may attempt to slow us down. And we have both Giovanni and Sabrina. Giovanni not really... Um, not feeling necessary right now. Okay, they got double Professor's Research. Very powerful start. Finding a lot of different pieces here. Five cards in hand. Building up that star you in the back. And uh, feeding us a star you here. Shout out to your boy. Shout outs to your boy with the first KO. Oh my god, I'm gonna get Star Me ex into Giovanni. Hmm. I can I can smell the, uh, Giovanni or Sabrina. Knocking out my Jinx is also a problem. Frost Moth in the back, and then Star Me EX here. Maybe they don't have either of them, even though they have four cards in hand. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they go for a Misty. Fail. Fail now. Yeah! That's what you get for playing Misty. Look at Taro's. Surviving! Surviving. We gotta go for that Professor's Research, though, here. Find the Ghastly. Play the Ghastly. Build up the Jinx. Taros. Again! Again! Hit him with that Horde attack. We may get a cheeky kill here with Jinx, Giovanni. It could happen. They could just stay in, leave the Starmie, be like, hey, we're, we're fine, bro. I got no potions. I got shit. And just knock him out with, with Jinx. Stop! Stop healing, bro. That's disgusting. Some 07s in the chat for Toros. Honestly, went down like a Chad. What do we do here? So, I think I want to send in Ghastly. Problem is that Sabrina hurts us here. Because if I top deck another Giovanni, I'm able to finish this. Because I'm expecting them to pivot into Articuno. There's no way they stay here. So I think they pivot into Artic. They bring in Articuno and they hit us for 40. And then the combination, and then uh, Gengar will prevent them from, from going for Sabrina on us, essentially. They go for the Ice Wing, and now as we evolve, there's another Giovanni, so that would have worked. As we evolve into Gengar, we are at 90 HP, and we're able to bother them. This prevents Sabrina plays. And Giovanni plays. We don't have to worry about a Giovanni. Like, Gengar, it, it, this is very meta-relevant. The fact that we survive an Ice Wing into a Blizzard with Gengar, no matter what. They cannot Sabrina us, they cannot Giovanni, they cannot Misty again. This is very, very important. Like, this is huge. This is huge. It's over. It's over. Again, again, another water matchup, another, the same result. The same freaking result. We pivot here, we bring in Jinx, we don't need anything else, out of here, done. Easy. Shoutouts to Tauros, did you guys see Tauros? Did you guys see Tauros? Reliable damage output, bit of a slow starter. Reliable damage output, 100 health. Tanking the hit. Get 100 damage. Card of the game indeed. Round of applause for Tauros, some Giga Chads. We play Poodim after. Unless we lose. Going first against uh, Fire. 
We got that ghastly lead. And we got Professor's Research into Pokeball. We want to find that Haunter, so we'll be probably prioritizing Pokeball over Professor's Research to thin the deck out of basic Pokemon and enhance our chances of drawing it. They got the Moltres, Charmander lead. We got the Jinx. We got the Jinx. There's another one. Okay. We're one hunter away from greatness. Double Moltres, so Sabrina will no longer work. There was an argument for playing Sabrina turn one, but I need to cycle through my deck, right? Since I couldn't really capitalize on that Charmander anyways. Now that Sabrina is kind of nullified as of now, which means we have to break through this Moltres. <laughs> And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit spooked. Oh, 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 oh my, oh my God. Oh, Amadeus. Oh, splitting, okay, interesting. Good, good play there actually, I think. Um, I'm gonna go with it because I have the X speed. Now we need to hold on to that Jinx, though. Now we, we're not threatened by an attack afterwards. Spreading out their energy-wise. How about a second Jinx? Because we're, we're definitely going to need Jinx here. A Tauros. A Tauros. Um, Tauros is not a great pivot here. I feel like this is the turn to Sabrina to hit them harder. But then they can pivot away with it. Let's let's go Sabrina. Giovanni kind of like really hurts us here, but I have to bank on this Jinx putting in the work. Um I think we can drop the Tauros. But as long as it's just around, no, this is I think this is fine. We need to we need to deal damage here. The problem is um, a Giovanni. If they have a Giovanni in hand, this could be. I don't know if you play Gio. I I don't think you play Giovanni. In um. Okay. Heat blast. I mean this this hits that for a lot, but then they can pivot with it. So we have to go, we have to go Haunter here. Forty into sixty is not enough, but I can always pivot around with it. We need to preserve this Jinx. Do I use Giovanni here? I put it at eighty. That may lure them into staying in, actually. The combination of, but 40, 40 plus 60 is not enough, so yeah, let's just go for the willow o spear I'm gonna send in Ghastly here because the Tauros is too slow. Heat blast us. Yeah, 
is going for a Giovanni here. How many? How many? I've only gone for one research. Let's go for one Giovanni. This is uh, Pickle. They can play Professor's Research. We have two X speeds and no, no, one X speed and one potion actually. The potion is everything. The potion is absolutely everything here. Bother them again. Bother them again. Prevent them from playing the professor's research that they're probably top decking here. No Giovanni. No Sabrina. Red card. Into another Giovanni. A Gengar. A, literally the same hand. What the hell? Pivot. Pivot, pivot, no Charmeleon. Pivot, no Charmeleon. No Charmeleon, you couldn't draw it. You couldn't draw it, you can't Professor's Research. Oh, baby, let's go! Four in a row! Gengar! Gengar! Woo! Oh! I literally played this deck a bunch off stream, had great results, and then I went 4-0. So yeah, like I'm very happy with it. We got Tauros, Ghastly, and Jinx. This is an opener. Oh boy, this is an opener. It's against Fire, but uh, we don't know exactly what Fire deck it is. It is Moltres, okay. Jinx is very important here. Rafaeli, I just don't do that. I, I I know you're trying to be funny, but I, I I just I never do that. I never play one game and I'm just like this deck is nuts. I've never I've, I've never done that. I don't I don't like it when people just like say things that are just not true. Depending on the roll here, we'll just go for the hit. Nice. This Sabrina is awesome. This Sabrina is beautiful. This Sabrina is very nice. We got that Gengar online as well with the X Speed 2. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sabrina, now we got to weaken this Arcanine. We got to weaken this Arcanine effective immediately. Get that horn attack with Taros. Go in. Go in. That damage on Arcanine is very important. It means that if they pull back and they build it up again, my Jinx will one-shot it. Super relevant. My Gengar also survives a hit. Um, What am I vulnerable to here? They cannot do anything. I have X speed. And I can just immediately start attacking with Gengar. So this Sabrina is weird. This Sabrina is very weird. No, 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 no. No, sir, no, no, no. No, this Gengar does you in. This Gengar does you in. Have you played any professors? You played one. Yeah, this Gengar's amazing. This Gengar is absolutely amazing. I hope this attack doesn't bother you. <laughs> you got a potion? You got a second potion, buddy? No support cards. No Sabrina, no Giovanni. No Professor's Research. Ah, you're running. You're running from me. Get out of here. Run. 
run, boy. And no matter what they do, our Gengar will survive the hit. That 130 HP is so sexy. So, so damn hot. Get that last Jinx out of the deck. Thin, build up the Jinx in the back. Bother. Bother them all day. Prevent them from being able to play Professor's Research. Childish CG, thank you for the two bucks. Nah, man, this 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 deck is legitimately fire. This deck is like, this deck is amazing. This deck is um, this is like one of my favorite brews because it's it's just so good. It's so wow. I am I am the best. Hmm. No, but I, I want to keep locking them out. I think Sabrina timing now is very good. It leaves everything at kill range for... for Jinx. And against this bother, preventing them from playing that Professor's Research, which they definitely have in hand by this point. They hit us. We kill them back. We knock him out. With Jinx. Booyah. They could have a red card. I'm going to push him preemptively to just deny the red card value. I want to have this Jinx. Knock him out. <sighs> oh! Art. This deck is Art Incarnate. Cinema! Absolute cinema. We have everything we need. See, there, there's a professor's research. Oh, man, they've been dying to play that. But that means no Giovanni. That means no Giovanni. Nani? Wait, what? You have a potion, right? Yeah, you have a potion. Okay. Gengar to bother them. That's the last potion. Beautiful. Second jinx up. The next time this Arcanine attacks, it dies. The second Arcanine they want to build in the back is going to take a while before it gets online. Aerodactyl. Mm, what about... I may need another Gengar here. If they get a massive high roll here. Double tails. Yes! Yes! Okay, that was a little bit scary, not gonna lie. Because I've already played my last Sabrina. But if I draw another Gengar... Okay, we were fine, we are fine. We were fine, nonetheless. And we have just enough health, because they cannot Giovanni us. Because they cannot Giovanni us. Pivot. Oh, baby, we pivot.
into the healthy Gengar. Who will survive? Because they cannot Giovanni. The 130 HP. GG no re. Cinema. <laughs> Checkmate.